Hello there and welcome back to another spontaneous video. This is a really, really strange one that I'm doing because this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. And you might be thinking, oh, he's being an Ashen's ripoff. And I completely understand that. That's completely understandable that I'm doing something like that. I'm trying to do it in my own way, if that makes sense. So let's kick off this video. Before I show the actual products, I just want to show you these quickly. This is a little tiny PlayStation. I mean, it's tiny and it's really really detailed even down to the little vents at the bottom of it and this was only ten dollars from eb games i am a pretty avid game collector so you know when i see stuff like this it kind of makes me go that's pretty cool i'll get that i might have to show my game collection off one day if anyone's interested let me know and i'll do it so i don't know what we call them here blind i'm gonna call them blind bags because that's what ashens calls them but i don't know what they're called mystery bags or chance bags or whatever and then i've got these ones here which were pretty much out of a box that has little capsules and you buy them and open them up and it's a mystery controller from a random nintendo console so that's pretty much the concept of this video that's exactly what i did for the next product to show but yeah these are really tiny and really well detailed they actually have buttons on them and a little hole here where an LED would have went. And yes, I've opened these up and they do have little slots to accommodate a few little tiny cell batteries. And yeah, you could fit an LED in there. So I'm not sure. Maybe the Japanese ones had that feature. I'm not too sure. Is a tiny little Wii mode if you're interested. So I've got three of these blind bag, mystery bags, whatever they're called. Um, actually, they're called backpack buddies. Classic console. They're actually um, endorsed by Nintendo, so that's... Kind of cool. Um, look out for the rare chase controller. Wouldn't it be great if I got one of them? You know, it'd be just, yeah. Anyways, um, there's an S controller. There's an old Game Boy. Each pack contains one backpack buddy, eight to collect. It was on the back that made me go, oh, this is pretty cool. So you've got an old Game Boy, an S controller, Game Boy Pocket, Game Boy Advance, N64 controller, um, American SNES controller, GameCube, and a 3DS. So I'm hoping... I can get maybe some of the consoles to go with the controllers, if that makes sense. But I don't know what the quality of these are, so I guess we're just going to have to take a look. These were $10 each at EB Games, which, yeah, so I spent 30 bucks. but this is where it gets you. You see these and you go, oh, you know, you never, you never know. You get one, and then you sort of gamble and get another one and get another one until you've got the whole set, and it's an easy way to make money from kids, is what I'm saying, and people like me. Anyways, um... Let's, which one do we open first? Um, they've got like these, they're like that. So I don't know what's, what they're even in. It might be in a um, little plastic shell, who cares? Well, let's open this one first. Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll see what this is. What do you think it is? Oh, come on, mystery. Ooh, it's an N64 controller. The analog stick actually moves. That is really cool. Even the buttons all move. That is attention to detail right there. I mean, that analog stick is pretty much how a real N64 controller goes after playing it for several years. Um, and it sort of doesn't really go back to its default. No, it kind of does. But yeah, there's that. So compared to the old one, you can see the differences, but this one's more, um, yeah, it's got the Nintendo branding and everything. I don't know which one I like better. This one looks more authentic, but then this one's got the sort of the controls and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And there's your little backpack holder thing as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, let's try the next one. I tried picking the heavier ones. Let's, let's hope this worked. Oh, I think we've got it. Oh, nice. Oh, that is really cool. So that's a Game Boy Pocket. It's even got clicky buttons. That is impressive. Has Nintendo on the back there, if you can see that. There we go. Screen's a bit of a letdown, because that's just a bit of um, plastic stuck in there. But still, that's really cool. And in size comparison to the other ones, it's not too bad. It scales off a little bit, but uh, it's not too bad, actually. All right, moving on to the next one. Well, I hope this is going to make for an interesting video. Um, if you want to play a little bit of a uh, game as well, write in the comments now what you think this is going to be. I'm not going to take any guesses, so feel free. 
Oh, what is it? What is it? What do you think? Do, 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 do. It's a 3DS. Oh, look, even the little analog. Oh, no, it doesn't. But yeah, you can press all the little buttons and power and all that sort of stuff. There's the back there. See the little shoulder buttons. You know, with the whole buttons moving and everything like that, it's actually pretty cool. And it sort of, it gets to a point where it doesn't go any further, like a real DS. And then you can sort of bend it back like that. Quite interesting. It doesn't shut. Yeah, it doesn't shut all the way, but, you know, whatever. So, 3DS, Game Boy Pocket, and an N64 controller. So that was 30 bucks worth of merchandise here. But hey, it made for a f sort of fun video because usually when I get these, I just open them straight up and it's like, oh, I got, I got that one, you know, fantastic, and then put it straight down. Whereas I like to sort of do this and share this with you guys and you get to see sort of what I get as well. And as I said at the start of this video, sort of Ashen's inspired me to do this sort of things from his blind bag review. So I thought, well, I'll do my own sort of twist on it. And as I said, it's, it's been really fun to open these up on camera and, you know, you guys get to see sort of how I react to actually getting what's inside of them. If you do see these around fairly cheap and you want to pick yourself up one and you're a bit of a sort of game collector like I am, give them a go. You never know. You never know what you'll get. As the back says, there's eight to collect. And I got three of different ones, so that's kind of good. I would have wanted a um, GameCube controller. That would have been really cool. So maybe I'll go back and get another one. So these are going to be going to the collection of stuff. I love that clicky there. Not sure if that's supposed to be like that, but that's satisfying. That is oddly satisfying. <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video because it was really good opening these on camera, as I said. See you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Comment below if you would like to see more content like this. We'll see you in the next one.